that violated Jeffrey's First Amendment right to free speech. In music news, singer Natalie Merchant of 10,000 Maniacs, College Rock's most collegiate band, is leaving that group after 12 years. MTV News spoke to Merchant about the split on Thursday at a recording studio in laid-back Woodstock, New York, where she's mixing the band's album version of their recent MTV Unplugged performance. I made the decision to leave the band two years ago while we were writing the album and um, gave quite a bit of notice because I realized that people had to decide what they were going to do as a result of my decision. And I thought that by the time we had recorded the album and toured fully, I agreed that I would tour the full length. And um, so it, we had a long time to prepare for it. We just decided that we wouldn't make it public until it had really happened because we didn't want to be, you know, assaulted by people asking questions. <laughs> of um, pieces of music that I would like to perform that 10,000 Maniacs can't because we don't play the instruments that are required or, you know, we're just not those type of musicians to begin with. So that was another consideration and just a, a myriad of reasons that are really personal and, you know, I don't feel are anyone else's business. To be in a band from my teenage years and always have to consider so many... Uh, it was almost like a committee to consider every move that we were going to make. I'd really like to finish my college education. And, um, I mean, that, that's a very, you know, it's a very personal decision and um, a very time-consuming decision. I don't think I could imagine songwriting and recording while I was, you know, attending a university, which may take two or three years for me to get a degree if I want to pursue that. I also feel like I'd, I didn't want to have to, you know, consult the members of my band. It's almost like I just wanted the freedom to make decisions and choices on my own. Natalie Merchant will make her first solo appearance in Newport, Rhode Island on August 28th, performing at a benefit for a group called Shake a Leg, which works with disabled people. That's the news for now. Try to catch the